the temple of Livuni Kutta yesterday, the jungle temple in Telangana. Uh, in the middle of uh, the forest, you have to climb for an hour up a, a hill. And the setting is beautiful. There's a natural lake um, and a stream running through a valley. The temple is on, built on rocks. It's not a big temple, but it's filling a gap in the history of temple architecture in India. Uh, it's something that, if it had been known, all the history books about temples would have been written differently. It's showing you a moment, I think, in the 6th century, before the formal languages of temple architecture, Nagara and Dravida, were established. It's got elements of both, but it's not so much architectural as sculptural. They, they are, the artists are creating a vision of a heavenly palace, a multi-storied palace, teeming with gods. The sculptures are covering every inch of it, and they're the kind of sculpture you're more used to seeing in cave temples than structural temples. In the middle on each side is a big mythical sculptural scene. The architecture in which these um, mythical events are taking place is multi-storied, there's a circular dome on top, little pavilions in the corner, but rather than formalised mouldings, uh, it's a free depiction of uh, a wooden palace. It's really important that it should be preserved. It's, it's, it's very warm. It was originally plastered and painted, in, no doubt in beautiful colours. But what you see now is quite warm, but you can still see the beauty of the sculptures, even in, this, in the state it's in. And although parts of it are beginning to collapse, it's still intact. But it has to be restored really sensitively, either by dismantling it and putting it together carefully, or probably in the short term, propping it up. But it, it's so important it mustn't be done badly. And the same goes for the setting as well. It, it, it's unique in the unspoiled uh, surroundings. And while I'm sure it will attract a huge amount of tourism, uh, surely it must be done in a way that keeps that beautiful setting, not building a road in the car park on top of that wonderful hill. Anyway, uh, I hope and I'm sure many people will, will enjoy this beautiful temple because it is unique. Thanks. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, I don't know, was it any good?